Hi and welcome to a new video. Grab a drink of your choice. Today I have a lovely, lovely, lovely iced latte. And today we're going to be talking about why you can't leave toxic relationships. This goes in every single way. Partners, friendships. I think, and I've always believed and I always say it, that the first reason to change and the first way into changing things is realizing why. Why things are the way that they are. Understanding the origin. So that's basically what we're going to be talking about. Be comfortable, grab a drink of your choice. And yeah, the first thing you need to know, and something that's very important, and this is basically what the video is about, is that the limit of abuse of toxicity that you're going to allow is the same that you allow from yourself. Something that you do not allow yourself with yourself, you won't allow from anyone else. Do you know, it's, it just goes so much into how do you see yourself? How do you view yourself? How you view yourself subconsciously is going to make others treat you in one way or another because slowly they're going to be, once they know you, they're going to start easily seeing your limits, seeing the person you are, seeing what you're okay with, seeing what you seem to get angry about a little bit and what you allow is going to be determined by how do you see yourself. Do you love yourself? Do you think you deserve good things? Do you think you deserve to be loved or do you think you don't, you not, you don't deserve to be loved at all? These things are truly what's going to change into you allowing someone to treat you bad or just to treat you good. And the minimum that they do wrong, you kick them out of your life because you know who you are, you know your worth, you see yourself as worthy of love and worthy of good things. The problem is that most of the time we do not see ourselves like this. And because we tolerate so much hate, so much abuse from ourselves daily, we accept we accept it from others because no matter how bad it might be it is still within our limits it is still within our limits so why would you not accept something that somehow it's still within your limits if you work because in order to first understand realize and in order to change it you need to change how you see yourself and this briefly could start just changing how do you how you talk to yourself, how you speak to yourself every day, you know, looking in yourself in the mirror and maybe you think you look ugly and say, oh, I look so ugly, I feel so bloated. Maybe just lie to yourself, okay? It's like, you know, when you hang out with people that maybe you don't like that much, but you have to be in a group for some reason at some point and you have to pretend that you're not against what they think or you have to pretend you like them. This goes the same way, the same way, and this is for your own benefit. So just lie to yourself, okay? If you think, oh my gosh, I look so bloated, you, you, you literally tell to yourself, oh my gosh, I look amazing, I look so hot. It doesn't matter, you don't think it, you say it to yourself. Because honestly, with time, it's going to make you see yourself nicer, it's going to make you love yourself. It's going to literally build your self-esteem. Your mind doesn't really... And it's not able to differentiate and make differences between what you really think and not. You just speak and whatever is said is perceived. But it cannot really make a difference towards, oh, this, she's not, she doesn't mean this. No, it's just something you say. If every day you're treating yourself badly and you're talking to yourself badly, it means you will allow it from others. But also it will not change because you still tolerate self-abuse you still abuse yourself daily and i know abuse is a really like thick strong word and horrible but it is because what is it then how do we call it how do we put makeup and and try to hide the reality i've come to realize that this is like negative self-talk telling myself i look ugly i should be prettier i and this is personal things like, oh, I'll never be pretty unless I have feelings because everyone has things done and I feel like I'm so inferior, blah, 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 blah. You realize that you are 
hurting yourself and you're poisoning yourself. And it's very hard to realize, I think, to realize I'm doing this to myself. But also once you realize you can change it and it's very hard, but it just starts in, it just starts into like, how do you talk to yourself? Because how you see yourself, how you perceive yourself, and you might even think others perceive you, it's just in terms of like, how do you see you and how do you speak to yourself? I know you might think it's normal to criticize yourself all the time and to say negative words almost as much as you speak. But I've come to realize that actually it's not normal. It's not. I, I thought it was, but I don't know. now that we know okay it's not normal what can we do to change it because honestly it's something that needs to be changed i've asked in the past i've accepted um really poor treatments from friends because i genuinely thought i deserved that and that's the issue that when you see yourself so poorly you generally when someone treats you wrong when someone insults you when someone disrespects you when someone treats you actually bad subconsciously because of how you be yourself you think you deserve it you think oh i deserve it oh my god i'm so silly i'm so stupid they're right i'm so i deserve you i swear you think you deserve it i know you might think i don't think i deserve bad things it's not like you think oh i deserve bad things but because you put yourself last because you always shut up about things because you criticize all the time how you look instead of highlighting all the beautiful things that you do have it's like somehow you know you have so many beautiful things but you only say out loud and say and, and give emotion and power to the negative things so until you change that nothing else will because you will just think that i, de I deserve it no i <laughs> mean you, you deserve good things and until you really believe yourself that you deserve good things, you're not even going to allow it from others. Because for you, that doesn't make sense. But you need to make it make sense. Because on the long term, this is just poison. And it's entirely up to you to change it. And you might be able to live a toxic relationship you might be able to live a, a toxic friendship without friendship without changing you in terms of like how you be yourself but the problem is that you probably get them back whether it's a relationship or it's a friend you'll give them another chance because you don't respect yourself or maybe you will have another friend with the same toxic traits and you will not even think oof no maybe not they shouldn't be my friend no because the roots of the problem it's still there you know it's like removing up the, the plant like the top of the plant but leaving the root it's still full grow so you need to really look where does that come from i've realized every single thing into how we are all the things like psychology mindset that we struggle they all have a root there is always a reason i always thought no i'm this way just because i'm like this there is always a root and it's like wow we are so complex as human beings but actually there is always a reason and an origin of why nothing is just oh i'm just like this there's always an origin and I feel like that can bring you peace and stress, but mostly I think peace, because once you understand it, you can play around it and you can understand why you are this way, why you allow these things. And once you know why you're allowing certain things, you can change them. Oh, I'm allowing it because, yeah, I treat myself this way or even poorly, so it's within my limits. Then you can change into how do you see yourself? What do you say to yourself every day? maybe be a day trying to not say bad things to yourself i'm, I'm sure you're going to struggle <laughs> i i struggle when i do that i struggle being a day positive i'm gonna actually try to try it again tomorrow and it's gonna be hard because my period is starting so i feel bloated i feel ugly i feel i feel i don't know i have my grain so but this as i wake up in a few hours when i go to bed after um i'm not saying anything I'll be feeling everything, 
but I have to shut up about it. And I'm sure when the day ends, I'm going to be like, you know what? It wasn't that bad because I, I didn't speak. And don't get me wrong, it's lovely being able to talk and express ourselves. The problem is that we tend to be our worst enemies. We demolish ourselves all the time. And this is why we allow things from others. And this is why we shouldn't allow anything from anyone that is not positive, okay? And also because all of these things come from the fact that you're not. And in general, we do not accept ourselves. When we do not accept ourselves, where are we doing? Neglecting ourselves. Um, and by all this self-hate talk and how we speak to ourselves, we constantly neglect who we are. It's like we don't want to be ourselves. But yet, we want society to accept us. We want everyone to love us, everyone to accept us. Please love me. We always try to pretend to defeat everyone's roles and ideas of what is to be perfect, normal, good. I hate it. I hate it. It drives anyone crazy. It really does. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I think I've made a point. I hope I made a point. I hope I made you understand why you're accepting this. There's always a root of the problem and only you have the key. Only you have the key to be able to fix that. And it's just daily, tiny steps because also if you're like, oh, I'm going to do this, just like a big thing you're not going to get anywhere you're going to get stressed and then you'll do it for a day and then the day after you'll come back to being yourself so my truest advice is one step at a time okay just spend a day trying and stopping yourself from saying negative things about you either don't say it or change them from to positive things like if you're gonna say oh i feel so fat you say oh my gosh i have such a good body I don't care, lie, okay? Lie until <laughs> lies become a reality. I don't care, but uh, it's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot. And yes, it's still improve yourself. And if you feel bloated, yes, go for a walk. But avoid ugly words because they're going to form your reality. They're going, to, they're going to form how you see yourself, how you're going to go in the world. And people are also going to see you as a perfect target. And <laughs> you don't want to be that. You truly don't want to be that. It's already hard enough dealing with people that might be toxic around you. That you need to, as you work on yourself, need to, you know, brush away. Let alone if you become the perfect target. And how to not be the perfect target? Build your self-confidence and have a positive way of being yourself so that you will not allow anything that is wrong. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Sorry for my voice. Um, I'm a bit feeling great. Uh, changing always the negative self-talk. <laughs> um, I love you. I'll see you very soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it added some value into your life. Everything will be okay um, at the end, as they say. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. So let's get to work and be happy healthy and our best fashion really i love you i'll see you very soon thank you